Trinidad and Tobago. Get ready for Magnolia, the very first Trinbegonian superhero movie for kids. Experience the beauty and the power of Magnolia. Premiering in cinemas nationwide, January 12th at Movie Town, Estate 101, and Caribbean Cinemas 8, January 12th. Get ready for Magnolia. Ladies and gentlemen, this Thursday, January 12th, Caribbean film history will be made as the first Trinbagonian superhero movie for children premieres across cinemas across the country. Uh, in studio with us this morning is the filmmaker himself, Mr. Ansel Harris. Good morning, sir, and morning, congratulations. Morning, morning. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Appreciate it. And nice being here. Now, Welcome. Ansel, last time you were here, yeah. you brought with you uh, the superhero himself. Yeah. Uh, you brought the character, and you were in character, and you were telling us about the process uh, that it took to, to make the movie and all that right. good stuff. Right. Uh, how has the journey been? It's been good. It's been fun. You know, um, we learn a lot during, during, during the times of filming. Like Especially, what? especially for this movie, yeah. Magnolia. We actually shot this movie during COVID. Ah, right. Okay. So it was like um, we started off at episodes first, so it's right. like a series first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was so challenging because the when we started to shoot, the moment we started to shoot, the week, the week after was locked down. Oh wow! Right. Wow. So you know it was locked down for like about three months. Of course. And then when it opened back up, we start we resume shooting, mm -hmm. and then it came the mass mandatory. Then it came the social distancing, <laughs> and then it had the. Ten people to five people. Yeah. <laughs> so it was, but you know, we didn't give up. We say, well, you know, we try to work around all these things. Mm -hmm. now. And yeah, it's, it's been a, it's been an experience. It's been what an experience. motivated you to just keep keep at it, even though you're all these things happening, all the, like yeah. what seemed to be walls yeah, essentially. Yeah. Well, I see Hollywood and stop. <laughs> <laughs> Very good yeah. point. They didn't stop yeah. because. They, I, uh, we see the lock dog, and I see they're still filming, mm. and they're still doing stuff, and they're doing protocols. And I was like, yeah, we could do that. You know, we could do it. We just, we, we, we wouldn't need the big crew and the big, you know, the big set of people and stuff like that. Yeah. Um. So we write scenes where we could limit it to the amount of people. So if you have five people. You have the cameraman, you have the director, you have two actors, right. good. Right. You know? Okay. And so we just try to work around that okay. situation. So did you have to adjust the script or the scenes to be able to fit we, Yeah, it? we adjust some of the, screen, the scenes to mm -hmm. make sure that, you know, um, it could fit in and the story could be told the same way. You want to share a little bit of the story? What else do you want to give away? Um, yeah, the story. Come well, let me get the story. Basically, the story is about a, a, teenage, a teenage girl with superhuman powers. She discovered that, um, that she has superhuman powers, and she basically going to, um, she basically going to uh, what's the word, going to um, get answers now, right? She's searching for answers and stuff like that. And so it's have a lot of, a lot of things that's happening while she's on that journey to search for answers and you know and she's on this quest to be a hero now um she also deals with bullying in school so we have we have um the topic that we're touching on as well too um yeah basically basically sir and i see that the, the target audience is meant to be children yeah, uh, yeah any particular reason that you decided well, uh, children would be interested in this for yeah sure. um okay for one who was your favorite hero when you was growing up from small I don't remember, you know. You don't remember, no, but, but who, I, who, I, as an adult, I do enjoy the Marvel, the Marvel comics. Right, right. But comics you know, the, most times from small, yeah. we would have seen like Spider-Man, Superman, and and Captain Planet. That's right, what it was. Right, Captain right, Planet. Right. So <laughs> you, you would have loved watching Captain Planet, yeah. and you would have look up to him and yeah, all yeah, those yeah. things. So what we wanted, what we doing, especially for this show, is giving children like a character that they could look up to. Mm -hmm. They could inspire to be, you know, she's positive, she's dealing with the same struggles that kids deal with. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you know, she, she go through it and, you know, she be who she want to be. But more than that for me mm -hmm. is that like all the examples I just called, for example, mm -hmm. were not Trent Begonian. Right. So the fact that we now have a Trent Begonian that we yeah. can look up to, that yeah. we can say, all right, this is yeah. what we... I think that's the part that we've, we've been missing, you know. Yeah. While, yeah. while we have characters that we can look up to, we have all folklore characters yes. and that kind of thing. Yeah. It's always nice to have, you know, new versions. And yeah, stuff. yeah. So was, it, was any of it, like, the research and doing the research to mm. get ready for this? Did you have to look up any of those kind of things? Like, did you link it back to any of our 
like um, local? No, not, not necessarily, you know. Okay. What we what we did is we basically just run testers with kids ah. to see like what it is they like. Mm -hmm. So we come we do comparisons now. So we have like, you know, they were like the Black Panther, they were like the girls were like the Wonder Woman, they were like the Batgirl. Okay. So we kinda do comparisons. And actually we, we actually we did a doing a, we're actually doing a school tour right now. Mm -hmm. Where we go into schools and introducing them to the characters and kids like going crazy off it because it's something that they've never seen before. Yeah. A lot of the children saying they never see something like this before. They're accustomed to seeing certain things from Trinidad and Tobago, mm -hmm. but they never see something like this now. And so that's where we realize this is the audience that we have to yeah. target now. Oftentimes we hear filmmakers talking about how expensive it is mm -hmm. uh, to mm -hmm. do a production, especially yeah. locally. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how was your journey in that regard in terms of getting the funding to make it happen? Um, it was the same. I mean, we do, we do our, um, our production out of pocket. Mm -hmm. um, but the good thing about it is just that we have a lot of skilled and talented people that you know came together and yeah. we came together and we, we make it happen now you know everybody believe in the dream and believe you know um the mission you know what we are about and to see that we did this during covid time mm -hmm. and then see it on the big coming to the big screens you know that's a big accomplishment now i agree i yeah. firmly agree and what, what's amazing for me is the amount of like graphic work and, and yeah. animation work and that kind of thing and yeah. it and it's not something that we we are custom seeing exactly. uh, blended together in our local film so exactly. congratulations to you Thanks. and the entire team Thanks. where can we go see it right so this thursday caribbean cinemas 8 um trin city and south park nice um next week the 19th is at Movie Town right. in Port of Spain and South. Right. And, but also in Tobago, from some people who want to see it from Tobago, of see it as well this Thursday. So Movie Town Tobago is from this Thursday? Yeah, Movie Town Tobago is from this Thursday. Mm -hmm. Movie Town Trinidad and, and South. Trinidad, Port, Port of Spain, Port South. Of Spain and South, right. Is from the 19th. From the 19th. And yeah. I see it's supposed to be in Estate 101. Estate 101. Well. We're still waiting on our confirmation date from that. It's supposed to be from the 12th, but we still, you know. Wait, another confirmation date. But and it's, it's the regular price as, as another movie. Yeah. Any other movie you go to see in yeah, Movie Town yeah, or yeah, Cinema yeah, yeah. same price. Yeah, same price. Right now, it, it's, so, it's so overwhelming because Movie Town and Caribbean Cinemas run in the trailers. You know, so a lot of people say, you know, they went to see Avatar and they like, saw this trailer. It's yeah. like, wow, see this local thing, like playing with the foreign trailers. Yeah. So to, 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 to us, you know, that's a big accomplishment. And, you know, we want to come and do more stuff. Mm -hmm. It's just not a one-off thing. Tell me, you what know? was the response like when you approached these cinemas? Because we know we are accustomed to seeing these yeah. foreign movies. Yeah. Uh, and they have lots and lots of foreign movies on rotation yeah. all the time. Yeah, 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 and yeah. we do get to see very many of the yeah. local movies. We see I, like one or two every now and yeah. then. I think, the I think the difference was with our thing, it was different. Right. Right? Um, because they showed movies before. They showed Green Days by the River, Hero, um, Bazudi, Hero yeah. and stuff. But when we come with a demographic, when we say, hey, this is a children movie, yeah. this is a, a superhero stuff, they was like, wow, never see that before, mm -hmm. you know? So they, they, they are not always excited about it. It's like, hey, yeah, you know, they watch it. It's like, yeah, like, you're going with this now. Yeah. So it's, a, it's something different because most times when they go in movies and, and they're talking about local, it don't have anything like a, like a children or family oriented mm -hmm. stuff now. It's always a certain demographic, you know, a certain age group. Yeah. So we say we wanted to take a different approach and actually have the kids, teens, young adults. I mean, everybody could watch it, right? Of course. But, you know, to have the kids, teens, young adults actually come and see something local. Mm -hmm. They, are, they look like them, talk like them. They see locations that look like, you that know. It. I was watching the sound like, look, that Memorial Park. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. So, so it's nice. It's nice yeah. to be able to, to expand our imagination, yes. especially we're seeing ourselves. And, you exactly. know, we, of course, encourage that here at TTT to yeah, see yourself yeah, yeah. and we live for local. And so congratulations Thanks to again. you and to the entire team Thanks at Great again. Things Caribbean Limited. Thanks again. Um, what's in, well, how do you pronounce the name of the movie itself? It's Magnolia. Magnolia. Yeah, it just spelled with a different O. Um, but when you watch a movie, you realize why. Oh, okay. <laughs> All I right. Just that extra. Magnolia yeah. <laughs> is in cinemas from Thursday, the 12th January. Congratulations again. Thanks again. Please go and see it. And I don't want to say support local, but enjoy seeing yourself on TV, on the big screen, local superhero movies. Ah, we want more, so please yeah, keep yeah. them coming. No, 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 definitely, definitely. Thank you so much for joining us Thanks this morning, again. Angel. <laughs> we'll take a quick break and come back with more inside the Now Morning Show. Stay tuned, guys.